Hey, Ethan Brosh here, and uh, for today's Betcha Can Play This, I'll show you my way of picking harmonics, cascading harmonics. <laughs> All right, here it is, slow down. So basically, I used the seventh, the fifth, and the fourth frets, the harmonics that those frets produce. And um, what, what I was doing was I used my third finger and my first finger. So I would just catch one. Actually, in the end, I used my first and second fingers too. So I would just catch one note with the third finger. And then with the first finger, I would catch the next two notes. That way you can play. Yeah, one way of playing it is... Uh, with triplets and having the last note be the downbeat, the accented note. And it's really about the last note that you end on, which will be the note that really sticks out. And that's what you want to really fit the key that you're in. Then later on, I just moved to the fifth fret and fourth fret and did pretty much the same thing, only using the second finger instead of the third finger. So it's the same kind of sequence. Where you end on a very high G sharp. And sometimes you can just end on that. And if you're saying the key of E, that would be a good note if you're lucky enough to get that. So then I just reverse it. I go fourth fret to fifth fret. And there's just many possibilities. Uh, anywhere you can find harmonics, obviously those. And then you can reverse that one. You can do it maybe even on the third fret. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit off the third fret, so that's how you get it. But you gotta have an amp that really produces really good harmonics, like the ISP Theta pedal. You should check it out. But really, what that lick is all about, it's all about the right hand and how you pick it, because that's where the secret really is. So let's just take a look at the right hand. All right, so the right hand is kind of a, it's a pattern that is used in classical music and uh, flamenco. And typically when you use that pattern, the pattern itself is just your thumb, first finger, and then second finger. Or if you want to be correct, it's P, I, and M for the classical approach. And then, when it's played in more of a classical way, it's basically more of a free, more of a freestyle. It just got so much distortion, so it's a little unclear at the moment. But the technique that I was showing before was basically, it's a little bit more of a country kind of technique where you play one note and then you just mute the next you mute that note the moment the next note shows up. So you'll get the first note, and the moment your first finger plucks the next note, your thumb has to land right back on the low E string. Sorry. And then, the moment you pick that note on the fourth string, your thumb will come down and mute the A string. And then you get individual notes. And it's really important with distortion that those notes won't overlap. So you really have to hear individual notes. So you have to apply that technique to every string set and just do the same thing. And you can just do lots of different patterns like that. 
So, and the other thing is you can get your pick between uh, basically inside your second finger because sometimes you're just gonna play something and then right away I have even more gain. Um, so you just gotta switch it real fast and then go into that lick. So that's basically it. There you have it. I'm Ethan Brosh. Check me out on ethanbrosh.com for all other information. And check out my brand new instrumental record. It's called Live the Dream. It's right here on my strap. Um, some shameless self-promotion right there, but you gotta do it. And check out the ISP Theta preamp. It's the best preamp you'll ever find. Uh, this is what I'm playing through right now. And, um, and again, don't forget, Jason Becker. You gotta always support him and help him out. So, till next time, I'm Ethan Brosh and rock and roll.